We're going to look at how you write a vertex form equation when you're given a parabola. Now remember, in a vertex form equation, we need to find a value for a and h and k. And once we have those three values, all we need to do is plug them in. So the first thing we're going to start with is identifying our vertex, because our vertex is going to give you the two values, h and k. So look at your graph. Identify your vertex right here. This vertex is located at 4, 3. So what you're going to do is you're going to write down 4 for your x value, 3 for your y value. Now that vertex, 4, 3, is actually your h and your k values. The x value, 4, is h, and the, three, the k value, the y value, is your k, 3. Okay? So later on, we'll take that h and that k and we'll just plug it into this formula. The other thing we need is our a value. Now the a value is kind of like the slope of your parabola, but when you have a parabola, obviously you don't have a consistent slope because it's curved. So our a value is actually the slope that we would have from the vertex to the first point with a run of 1. Okay? We want to always have a run of 1. So what you want to think about is from here, from where your vertex is, you're going to do a run of 1, and then you're going to see how high you rise until you hit your parabola. And in this case, my run and my rise are both 1, which means my a value is 1. And I can tell it's going to be a positive 1 because this parabola opens facing up. And then the last thing we need to do is we just need to plug all this information into our formula. So we're going to replace our a value. We're going to replace our a value with 1. And then we're going to replace our x. I'm sorry, we're not going to replace our x. We're going to replace our h with our h value, which was 4. And then finally, we're going to replace our k with a 3. Now, I want to draw your attention to something before we move on here. Okay? This is what we call vertex form, which means if you look at it, you should be able to see your vertex. Now, when you look at your h value, it looks like your h value might be a negative 4. But in my vertex, my vertex is really a positive 4. The reason the h value looks like it's the opposite of what it really is is because in this formula, our formula has a subtraction sign, x minus h, right here. Okay, that minus h makes it the opposite because what we're doing is we're subtracting positive 4. When we do this next problem, you're going to see it changes when we actually have a negative number. So I want to draw your attention to that. When you look at vertex form, your vertex looks like the opposite of your h value here and then your k value. So let's look at another example. We're going to start by identifying our vertex. Vertex is right here. So if I look at that, it's going to be a negative 2, negative 5. So my x value is negative 2. My y value is negative 5. Which means, again, if you think about it, your, x, um, your h value is negative 2 and your k value is negative 5. We're going to identify a. Again, if I look at this, my parabola opens down. Right away, I can see that my, my a value is going to be a negative value. So I want my run of 1, because we always have a run of 1. And then in this case, we're going to go down until we hit our parabola, which is right here, which is 3. Since I went down, it's a negative 3. So my a value is negative 3. And we had that negative sign in there ahead of time, because we saw our parabola open down. Okay, and then finally, we're just going to plug everything in here. So my a value is negative 3, and we have x minus h. Now remember, our h value is negative 2, so if I do x minus negative 2, that's really a plus 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that a plus 2, and then we're going to continue on, and we're going to add our k value. We're adding a negative 5, but instead of going plus negative 5, we'll just do minus 5 here. So again, take a minute, look at this vertex. This 2 is the opposite of what we have here, okay, because it's like a positive 2. Our vertex is actually a negative 2. Remember, it's because we did a minus a negative there. Our k value is the same. All right, one last one, and this is the last tricky thing you're going to see here. Start with identifying your vertex. The vertex is over 1, down 2. So my x value is 1, my y value is going to be negative 2 because we go down, which means my h value is 1, my k value is going to be negative 2. And let's look at this slope, this a value here. 
Now I want you to see this A value, this parabola is a very wide parabola, which means it's been compressed. So when we look at our run of 1, hopefully you'll think ahead of time, okay, it's got to be a fraction to make it this compressed. It doesn't go up a one full space. This is about where half would be. So I can look at this and say, okay, we probably have a rise here of about one-fourth or 0.25. And it's positive, so we'll do a rise of one-fourth. When you're asked to do this, they'll be nice fractions. They'll either be halves or fourths or maybe even a third. Um, it's not going to be anything too complicated. You can definitely estimate them. All right, so let's put all this information together into our formula. Our A value was one-fourth. We've got our X minus our H value, and our H value was 1. So we'll do X minus 1, and we're going to square that because it's part of our formula, plus our K value. Our K value is negative 2, so instead of writing plus negative 2, we'll just write minus 2, and that's how you put an equation in vertex form from a graph.